Luton goalkeeper James Shea, who watches on through a crowd of players as Junior Stanislas flips it over the wall and a comfortable save for James Shea moving to his right after all that. Billing across the top of the box here, going past a couple and then shooting for goalfield Billing. It's not that far wide in the end. There's claims from the Cherries that they got a glance off a Luton player, but the referee, Mr Whitestone, gives a goal kick. Stanislas from the left-hand side. Brooks is still loitering, but... Uh, likely to be ignored on this occasion as Stanislas is for the first time today going to deliver a corner into the penalty fired in glanced across goal I think Solanke got the last touch as it came into a crowd of players Solanke claims the corner will certainly offer Bournemouth head I think it might have been Solanke who couldn't quite get enough of a connection on it to steer it in the far post <laughs> 14 minutes until half time here Cherry's finding it a bit of a struggle today against a Luton team who've carried a, a threat themselves. Cherries haven't been firing on all cylinders, but it's Stanislas. Left corner of the penalty area, support from Kelly now. Kelly's first time ball across the six-yard box, slid away initially, then Billing will shoot as he came back. There was a, a bit of a curious intervention by Mpanzu there. The cross was going behind and he scooped it back into his own danger zone. Here, Luton nil, Cherries nil, but Luton threatening with Berry up against Lloyd Kelly, edge of the air. Comes back to the shot from Hilton, which is really well saved, of course, by Begovic. Nothing gets past the big Bosnian at the moment, and down to his right-hand side, another crucial save to keep the clean sheet intact.